In this video tutorial, I'll show you a little trick in SPSS called the split file function. This allows you to generate separate outputs of analysis based on a categorical variable. For example, if I'm interested in height, I can then separate the output by height in males and height in females. So let's get started. So I have an example dataset here containing participants height and a grouping variable for sex. And what I want to do is to produce a split file so that everything I do now will give me separate results for the males and the females. To use the split file command, <coughs> go to data, split file, and the split file window will now open. And what you want to do is to organize the output by groups. Click this button, and then you want to move the grouping variable into the box by using the arrow. So you select that, move the arrow. What this will then produce is a split file. So in the output window, everything will be produced in two tables. If I want it in the same table, but in two separate analyses, I can click the compare groups. But for this option, I'm going to click Organize Output by Groups. What you also want to do is to leave the option where it says Sort the File by Grouping Variables. You want to leave this selected. The split file will only work if the cases are sorted. So to do the split file, click OK. So if you now go to the output window, you will see that there is an output saying that the cases have been sorted by sex and also the cases have been split by the grouping variable sex. So everything I do now, any analyses I do, will now be, be produced in two separate tables. So for example, let's show you some descriptive statistics. So we go to analyze, descriptive statistics, frequencies. And what I'm gonna do is just show you some data from height. So I'll move that across. I'm not going to display any frequency tables for this case and click OK. Now what you'll see is the analysis is now separated into two. So the first half of the, the output is given as the sex as males. So it's giving me the, the descriptive statistics here for males. And underneath there is a separate table for females. And this would be the same if you did a t-test or any other analysis, as long as the split file is switched on, the results will be produced in two separate tables. So if you decide you want to remove the split file and turn this off, you simply go back to the split file window by going to data, split file, and then you want to select analyze all cases, do not create groups. Click OK. And now, for example, if I do the same analyses, if I go to the frequencies and run this again, you will see that all of the groups are merged into one. So that is how you turn the split file command off. There is another way you can split the file in SPSS, and you can do this through the syntax window. So firstly, open a new syntax sheet by going to File, New, Syntax. Now what we first need to do is to sort the cases by the grouping variable. So what you do is you type in sort cases space and then by and then space and then you have to type in your grouping variable. So ours is sex. And then you put a full stop. Now if you hit the return key in the line underneath, we're going to type the split file command here. So to work this, you do split file space and then separate by and then your grouping variable. Again, this is sex, full stop. And what we would then do to run this script is go to run all. So if you go to your output window, you'll see 
that the, the sort cases has been performed and the split file command has also been performed. To remove the split file command through the syntax sheet, simply type split space file and then off. And then go to run all. The output window will now state that the split file is switched off 